Hey guys, in this video, we're breaking down the five best drones for beginners in 2021. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for a basic budget drone to test out your flying skills or a feature-rich drone with level 5 wind resistance and a 3-axis motorized gimbal for ultra-smooth photos and videos, I'll have the product for you. If you want more information on the best and most up-to-date pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Snaptane S5C. This is our best budget drone for beginners. If you're a beginner on a budget, the Snaptane S5C is a solid option, which gives you some advanced features like voice and gesture controls, customizable flight paths, a 720p HD camera, and VR compatibility for under $75. The Snaptane S5C gives you a solid 9-minute flight time, and the charge time is around 90 minutes. You also get a wealth of advanced features, like compatibility with VR headsets to give you an immersive flying experience, and it offers you voice and gesture control, which saves you some button clicks and allows you to take pictures or start recording with a gesture. Considering its low price point, I think the 720p HD camera, which offers FPV, lets you stream images or videos directly onto your smartphone, is a great value drone. Plus, the trajectory mode lets you customize your flight path via the app, which is a feature usually found on more expensive drones. I believe what makes the S5C perfect for beginners is the one-button operating system, which includes takeoff, landing, and the return feature. It also features propeller guards that function as anti-collision barriers to prevent damage from minor crashes. The altitude hold function is also beginner friendly and keeps the drone steady when hovering at certain altitudes to take better pictures and to make landing easier. Unfortunately, this drone is made from plastic so the build quality might not survive serious crashes. Because of its lightweight frame, you might also want to avoid using it in windy conditions. The transmission distance for FPV is fairly limited and it lacks some features found in higher-ended competitors. However, this should be expected given its budget-friendly price tag and it remains a solid option that's geared towards new pilots just starting out. The Snapdane S5C is an excellent budget drone for beginners that's easy to use and comes with many safe features for beginners such as a one-button operating system and propeller guards. The fourth product on our list is the Rise Tello. This is our best drone for beginners for the money. The Rise Tello costs around $100 and gives you a compact quadcopter with good battery life and presents an excellent balance between features and price to get new pilots up and flying without investing too much. The Tello offers you a range of 100 meters and a respectable 13 minutes of flight time. You can control this drone via an intuitive app on your smartphone or with a Bluetooth device that connects to your phone. The onboard nose-mounted camera provides 720p HD video at 30 frames per second and 5 megapixel images which upload directly onto your phone. It also has downward-facing stability sensors to prevent unwanted drifting. With scratch compatibility, you can upload personalized flight patterns and behaviors. Once you get the flight basics, I think you'll also enjoy exploring some of the advanced features, like the throw-and-go, which automatically hovers when you toss it up, or the VR capability. I think what makes this drone a solid choice for beginners is the automatic takeoff and landing feature, the responsive controls combined with its affordable price. It also comes with propeller guards to protect it. Another beginner-friendly feature is the built-in warning system, which activates when the battery is low so you won't lose your drone. Because of the Tello's light plastic frame, it's best to avoid windy conditions. The downward-facing sensors also require light, so it may not work well at nighttime, and the video and picture quality may not be exceptional, as it lacks dynamic range and can be choppy or pixelated. However, for the money, this drone is respectable. Its intuitive controls allow you to perform flips with precision, and it comes with three intelligent flight modes. The Rise Tello is a value-driven drone for beginners with advanced features such as VR capability and automated control modes at an affordable price. The third product on our list is the Holy Stone HS510. This is a great value 4K drone for beginners. If you're new to flying and want a 4K drone but don't want to invest too much, you should consider the Holy Stone HS510, which goes for around $170. This drone provides you with high quality 4K video capability, solid GPS technology, and good portability at a relatively affordable price. With the HS510, you get 16 minutes of flight time and it takes around 150 minutes to recharge, but it does come with an additional battery, which makes up for the longer charging time. You get an 800 meter range, which gives you a nice flight distance to work with. I think one of its key features is the quiet brushless motors, which are stronger and hover better than brushed motors. You get a 4K Ultra HD camera with a 120 degree wide field of view with video resolutions of either 4K at 16 frames per second or 2.7K at 25 frames per second and an image resolution of 8 megapixels. Your phone can connect to the controller via the Ophelia app, giving you a low latency FPV with a range of 200 to 300 meters. Unfortunately, it uses a single axis gimbal for stabilization, so videos can be somewhat shaky. At only 16 frames per second, the 4K video quality isn't the best, although the 2.7K quality is more than adequate. You also need to adjust camera angles manually. 
I think the simplified two-speed controls make this a good choice for beginners and the flight functions ensure a short learning curve. These functions include the Smart Return Home feature, which returns the drone to you when the battery gets low or the signal weakens, and the Follow Me mode, which locks onto your phone's GPS and hovers around you. The GPS capability is respectable and lets you accurately track your drone. The Holystone HS510 gives you solid value for a 4K drone that's great for travel and the optical flow sensor lets you hover with precision. It also features easy controls and flight modes, which makes it great for beginners. The second product on our list is the Holystone HS720E. This is our best DJI alternative drone for beginners. The Holystone HS720E, priced around $340, gives you an excellent 4K Ultra HD camera, advanced flight modes, and electronic image stabilization for beginners looking for a great DJI alternative. The HS720E gives you an improved lithium polymer battery with 23 minutes of flight time, and like the HS510, it comes with an additional battery. The charging time is long, averaging 5 to 7 hours, but you do get 40 plus minutes of flight time with the two batteries, which makes up for it. It comes with brushless motors, which require less long-term maintenance. Advanced flight modes let you operate this drone hands-free so you can focus on taking videos. The camera is what I think sets it apart, as you can capture 4K videos at an impressive 30 frames per second. The electronic image stabilization guards against shaking and blurring, and with its Sony sensor, you can take crisp pictures and the 5G FPV gives you seamless real-time footage. The camera itself is adjustable up to 90 degrees via a dial on the ergonomic remote. You can also customize your flight path with the Waypoint feature. I think beginners will love this drone because of the intuitive controls and both the optical flow sensor and the air pressure altitude system make it perfect for indoor and outdoor use. It also features many of the same flight functions as the HS510, like the smart return home and the robust GPS tracking. There's even a small light letting you fly in the dark. Because of the near 500 grams weight, you do need to register this drone with the government if you're in the US, Canada, or UK. The Holystone HS720E is a great alternative to DJI drones for beginners. Equipped with a high-resolution camera and stabilizing technology, your images and videos will be crisp and blur-free while the wealth of flight functions are intuitive to use. The first product on our list is the DJI Mini 2. This is our best overall drone for beginners. If you don't mind spending a bit more and are looking for the best overall drone for beginners, the DJI Mini 2, priced around $450, is a top option. This drone is extremely portable, has level 5 wind resistance, and is especially fitting for photographers or videographers. The DJI Mini 2 comes with an exceptional battery life of around 30 minutes, and if you choose to purchase the Fly More Combo Kit, you'll get two additional batteries. The level 5 wind resistance means it holds its own against winds up to 24 miles per hour and can take off at a max altitude of 4,000 meters. With its built-in OcuSync 2.0, the Mini 2 can adjust automatically between two frequencies, which extends its max transmission distance to 10 kilometers, giving you even more flexibility. The 12-megapixel camera is exceptional and records 4K video at 30 frames per second. The camera does fall short in gloomier conditions, and at times the object tracking is limited. I think you'll love how its 3-axis motorized gimbal will keep your recording smooth. You'll get numerous effects and features, such as panoramas, auto-exposure bracketing, digital zoom, and three video modes, normal, cine, and sport. Its easy-to-use app gives you readings on height, remaining record time, exposure compensation, battery percentage, and controller signal. At under 249 grams, it's an excellent drone for beginners, plus you don't need to register it. It also features an improved GPS and altitude sensor, and the three downward-facing distance and optical sensors mean the drone has near-perfect perception of its positioning. It has a few obstacle avoidance sensors on the bottom to avoid some collisions from below. The app also intuitively lets you upload pictures and videos onto your smartphone. The DJI Mini 2 gives you excellent camera performance, incredible battery life, and level 5 wind resistance to keep your footage smooth and clear. It's feature-rich and weighs about as much as an Apple, making it extremely easy for budding pilots to take anywhere. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.